Value of relationship. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop rapping, start preaching now. Look, everything you need is in relationships. If anybody listening to that, everything you need is in the value of relationships. Everything you need. We go everywhere else searching for stuff, but everything you need is in the value of relationships. Everything you need. When the money fell, the only thing that's gonna matter is relationships. And it's coming to that point that everything you need is in relationships. You're healing, you're destined, everything you need. God had to do that to me. He took me back. He said, look, go back into my word. You had it all wrong. Everything revolves around relationships. Go back to the beginning of Genesis. It was all about relationships. There you go. There you go. And then when you devalue the relationship, that's when everything breaks loose. Because when we approach relationships with the get mentality, I got to get, I got to get, what can I get, what can I get? No, he says approach it with a give mentality. Because when two people value each other, look, it goes like this. Um, people, valuable people attract people of value. So therefore, when I approach the situation, it's like, what can I get? What can I get? And I said, the get, see the get, when the get comes on the scene, that's that get, I got to get, that's that ghetto mentality. Not G-E-T-T-O, but G-H-E-T-T-O, that ghetto mentality. And the first get came on the scene, he said, go back to the beginning, go back to Genesis. So I went back, and when you go back in the beginning, the first get comes on the scene is when Eve's in the garden, and the serpent comes, and he says, look, take this, and I'll show you reality for what it really is. And then look, this is what she did. I mean, you can check it. When she, this is the first, this is the first time the get comes on the scene. She says she looked at it and saw what she could get. And then she took it, and from there on, boom, the relationship is severed between man and God. And then it goes, then it goes on and on and on and on. And then Christ comes back only for one reason: is to restore relationships. Everything we need is in there. He's, everything, because look, he said when two people value a relationship, I supernaturally show up every time. Every time. And I'm like, wow, he said, go back and check the resume. The, the widow woman and the prophet. The value of relationship. Here you have a prophet who has nothing. He says, no, go here. There's somebody already there feature. And he valued the relationship and boom, now they have more than enough. The value of relationship. The lady that's bleeding. Man, I'm going to go there, man. Amen. The value, because now, look, we're going to deal with money in a second. Because I know when people say, well, man, I got to get some money. I got to get some money. No, we're going to get the money in a second. Because it's about giving. It's about the value of relationship. Everything you need is in there. We work part-time on the relationship and overtime for the pay. And wonder why things are still chaotic. I told my wife, no, I'm not picking up a second job. I value this relationship. Everything I need is right in here. Because he said, when you do that, I supernaturally show up every time. The woman's bleeding. Everybody pressing in. Touching, touching, touching. Nothing happening. But you have one that comes through and values the relationship. It's not until she touched that something left. Because she valued the relationship. And then we go on and all the relationships are always valued. It's, it's the value of relationship even when we talk about the coins, the prodigal son. The, the, the coins, look, the coins didn't even make a difference, so they was all together. And we're going to talk about the money, because we fast forward to the, we're going towards the end of the book, and we start easing into when Jesus is sitting down at the Last Supper, and he says, look, one of y'all going to betray me, man, for some bread. They breaking bread, and he, they about to see him with bread. And it, it comes down to money, because look, when you value relationship, people are like, oh, no, I got to get some money, though, man. Everything you need is in relationship. So we talk about the money. Here they are sitting here at the Last Supper, and then we got Judas on the scene. I need some money. I got to get me some money. So he takes the money. He gets his money. And then they take Christ. And this man realizes it later, and now he goes and hangs himself. He tries to give the coins back, but they don't want them. He hangs himself, realizing, you want to mess up. And look, he's walking with the man that has everything in the relationship. But he devalues it because I got to get some money. And that's sometimes where we are. I got to get, I got to get, got to get. That's that, that's that stem from a ghetto mentality. He's no, no, no. Look, the word says, give and it shall be given. Not get. And it's a play on words. I mean, but it's give, give. What can I give? So now every relationship I approach is what can I give? Because I realize everything I need is in that relationship. The relationship him and I just established. Everything I need is in it. And I'm not approaching the relationship with what can I get? It's what can I give you? 
Because every day is a person that realizes that they've been given everything, they're not trying to get nothing. If he says he's giving me everything, why am I approaching you? What can I get? What can I get? He's given it to me already. It's already written. It's predestined. I'm walking in it. It's already there. But I'm like, God, well, what if they devalue me? He said, that's not your problem. I already told you to value. So even if they devalue, you value. Well, that's hard. No, you, your job is to value. Well, they don't like you. So what? Value. Value is everything, even in your enemies. Everything you need is in the relationship. And we put them on a scale sometimes. I ain't going to go there. Yeah, I am going to go there. <laughs> if you don't remember anything, forget all the rhymes. Everything we need is in relationship. And, we come, and that's why the political system is upside down. Confused, scrambled, Wall Street, can't calculate numbers right. Because everything we need is in relationship. They devalued the relationship. They took the foundation away, which was the relationship of Christ. And now it's gone. And so now we got hell broke loose and they scratch their head like, what's going on? Get back to relationship. And that's what's happening. The money's failing. Everything's going crazy. And God is, and look, he's restoring relationships, bringing families back together. No, don't run out and get 10 jobs. Everything you need is a relationship. Right. Oh, I need a car, God. How am I going to get a car? Look, you might not even realize. So you disrespected the lady at the Walmart checkout line. You stressed out, you needed a job, but not realizing, maybe you just said, oh, you know, thank you, ma'am, oh, I'm sorry. You, she bumped you with your car, oh, no, it don't matter. Then, oh, you know what, sir, uh, you look familiar. Oh, no, yeah, that's not me. No, no, but, you know, my, my cousin owns a bank down there, oh, yeah, are we okay? And then your job is dead. But if you devalue the relationship, if you walk through life, oh, I'm devalue, I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. You, you passing up all your opportunities. Deal. Your car was probably right there. But you devalue the relationship. And the thing is, we can't approach it with what can I get? Walking around with a giving heart. Giving heart, value in the relationship. Be transparent. Look, I told my wife, man, wow. I'm here right now on faith. That's what I'm here on. Because we, I mean, we talk about faith, but faith is real when you activate it. I told my wife, I said, look, I was with my cousin last week in New York, and we was talking about it for a while. I was like, man, look, I'm going down to part-time. Starting in October, I'm going to part-time to tell my job. I said, this is why I'm telling them that, because the numbers aren't even lining up at the job. I don't, look, it's not that I don't care about money. And I'm not going to, I'm going to cut off in a second. I'm, this is my closing, as they should say. It's not that I don't care about money. Because that automatically comes with the territory. But I don't want to put all my attention and focus on it That's to right. the point I lose sight of what's really the value. Right. Right. Is the mic off? I can, I can talk keep loud. Going. Keep. I keep feeling, I keep, yeah, like my pastor. Right. I keep feeling God pushing me and squeezing me saying, no, get what, what, what I've invested in you, your gift. Your gift. That's enough right there. Your gift, that's enough right there. I'm telling I'm being, look, I'm a transparent person, man. That's one thing I learned about the value relationship, too. The more I expose myself, the more wisdom and knowledge and people he placed in my life to help me, all the better. And I need it. So I'm exposing it. So I'm in the shower crying. Oh, God. How am I going to do this? If I go down to part-time and I try to do this, you know, I, I know I could, I know, I know you gave me the gift to do, to do rapping and everything, but, man, the numbers ain't lining up. If I go down part we really going. He's like, no, this is the perfect time. The perfect time, because the greatest gifts and the greatest visions and dreams were birthed when there wasn't enough. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. And he said, look at, you, look at my son, and, and look how he was born. There wasn't enough. Mm -hmm. That's right. There wasn't enough. In the barn. If Joseph had money, he, he could have he got his way in that. And imagine somebody come to your hotel room and say, look, man, let me up in there. I'll give you $5,000. You only pay 500 for the room. You're going to oh, come on, play. <laughs> so Joseph, he, he, if he had money, Jesus would have been born in a, in a nice spot. But God, well, he's proven something there that, look, the greatest things I do are birth when it's not enough. Amen. And I said, okay, Lord, I'm moving on. I went to our job. I told my boss, I said, look, I'm going down to part-time. He said, for what? I said, because I got this gift, and I believe God's telling me to just go ahead and stretch it. Yes, Lord. So come October, you're only going to see me two days. And then after that, who knows where it's going. And when I did that, this happened on a Wednesday. Friday, this man called me and said that this man called him. I, look, I wasn't looking for that. I just was moving off what I believe he said. And here I stand. Nice. Oh, it's, it's not enough here. But it's there. Because I activated on faith. And, and it's not a coincidence that the door opened. And I said, God, now I'm here on faith. Valuing the relationship. And believing whatever you have for me, I receive it and I stretch it in the name of Jesus. I'm telling you, the, everything we need is in relationships. 
stepping out on faith, activating. And here I stand. Faith works, but we got to move, man. We got to move. And from here, man, I'm, I'm moving all faith, man. Because, ain't look, man, the money going to fail. The money going to fail, man. It's going to come a point, man, your money, it ain't even going to matter, man. The value of relationship is what's going to matter. And a heart full of faith. Because we all say, oh, I'll do it. Man, I said, God, look, I'm leaping. Leaping. I always describe my faith as a, I'm in a burning building. And the smoke is clouding all behind me. And, you know, the fire department, they down there like, come on, jump, jump, jump. And you're like, man, I don't know. They might not catch me, man. I, uh. <laughs> That's how I feel right now. Amen. Like it's on me. And I'm like, yeah, you catch me. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta do it. That's how every moment is for me. Yeah. Every moment, every step is just like that. Just like I'm just moving like that. Like this is where I'm going. This is where I'm going. I'm, 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 I'm done, man. I'm, I'm going to keep going, man. I'm done, man. Praise God, bro. 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 Praise God